Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. I'm Morten Yort, and I'll be talking to you about radiators and thermostats today. And I'm here with a pretty normal thermostat. Can I see that? It's down there. And this is this is the normal thing we have here. I'll just turn that around. There we are. And it's a thermostat that you you put it on a number and it will try to maintain that temperature. The the number does not actually represent the temperature, it's just it represents some temperature. And you can you can turn this if the room is too cold, you can just turn it up and the water will flow faster. I can actually hear this radiator is uh, it has some watery sound to it. Can you hear that? And that that means that there's there's a bit of air in it, so I should really go and and get the air out of the system, but well, this is kind of the old way to do this. It has been working great for a lot of years. Before this came, there was like a, a handle that you could turn and you could just open and close it. And this one will actually, it will measure the temperature. There's something out here that will, uh, that will open if the room gets cold and it would close if the room gets too warm. So it will it will maintain a steady temperature. And uh, now we're gonna go and look at one that's a lot smarter. This is a very modern thermostat, and it knows the time. And it knows this is the time I'm recording this 10:59, and this is the date. Tonight is the 19th. Uh, of January 2014 and now the clock is 11 and right now this uh, radiator it's a big one it is set to try to maintain a temperature of 21 degrees Celsius I'll have that in Fahrenheit right about there um, but this thermostat it knows when, I've told it when I go to bed, that it can turn down the temperature. And you can kind of program that. It has like a menu function. Uh, let's see if I can remember to do this. Well, this thermostat, I have programmed this one. It's, you can, you can tell it what it's supposed to do. And as this is my playhouse and I'm not here all the time, there's really no reason to keep the temperature at 21 degrees when I'm not here. So it knows that uh, Sunday evening at about 5 o'clock, Morten is supposed to go home and leave. So it turns down the temperature to 8 degrees with Fahrenheit, no, Celsius, 8 degrees Celsius. And that's just to keep the house free of frost. So. If it, it, if the weather becomes really bad outside, it's not that bad right now. Actually, this I think uh, there was a bit of sunshine just before, um, but eight degrees will keep the house from not freezing, and I won't have any uh, uh, damage doing to frost and stuff. And it knows that all week it can it can maintain eight degrees except on Friday, because Friday morning comes back. So it turns up the temperature to 21 degrees. Um, at about Friday midday, at 12 o'clock, the thermostat, it's, it tells the radiator to start heating again. And the temperature rises to about 21 degrees. And I'll be arriving here at five, six o'clock in at the night and the house will be warm. And then it knows again that Morten goes to bed around 10 o'clock. So around 10 o'clock it turns down the temperature to 17 degrees. This is the night setting. The moon is up 17 degrees all night. And um, it will do that from, I think this is a bit wrong, but it will do that from about 
22 hours at night, 10 o'clock in the evening to about 6 o'clock in the morning. And it will turn up the temperature to 20, 21 degrees again. And that's the representation here. And that will save a lot of heat because there's really no reason to use heat in this room when I'm not in here. So that's why it does this. This radiator is really big. It's, it's two meters long and it produces, uh, I don't remember how many watts, but it's, it's sized to produce it's, it's sized to be able to do double than this room requires and that's because of the heat pump. The heat pump, which we'll just go and see, <coughs> is out here behind my very dirty window. It operates best if it can deliver water to the system that is not too hot and for the not too hot water to heat this room the radiator has to be warmer uh, it has to be bigger so the radiator can heat the room with water that is not as hot as if it was from the stove so this radiator is sized to be a heat a size pump double as most effective when the, when the weather is not too bad and when the water that it heats up doesn't have to be too hot. The lower the, the temperature of the water going out of the heat pump is, the more you get for, yeah, for, the more heat you get for the box. So if the heat pump can deliver water out of the system that is about 40 to 45 degrees you get a better economy out of it and we can see the controls here maybe we can see the controls I can press something and we can see it it gets it's blue and right now it's delivering water that is 44.9 actually the heat pump is not delivering that the stove is on right now so the heat pump is not on but it measures the temperature and if the if the temperature gets down too low, the heat pump will kick in. But the radiators have to be very big because when the water is not very, very hot, when it comes into the radiator, uh, you need a, a larger surface area for the uh, water to heat the room. Um, and that's why the radiator is so big. And here we have one, it's, it's just as big. The same thermostat, and it's behind the couch. So, that was a little about that. These thermostats, I bought these from Germany. You can get them all over, but I found this model that I thought was really smart. I have a have, a, have another model at my apartment and it, it can do most of the same thing. But this model can you can change the temperature. The normal the normal ones only have a day temperature and a night temperature. And this one you can set the temperature during the week. I have when I'm here I like 21 degrees Celsius and when I'm not here, it's 8 degrees Celsius, and when I'm here but sleeping, it's 17 degrees Celsius. So, to be able to do those three temperatures, I had to get this model. And there's a lot of good models out there, and some of them is, uh, is wireless. I haven't tried those, but they should be really good. Um, I got six of these. And they were, they were a bit, a bit pricey and I have actually got some problems with one of them. I have the one in the kitchen here.
this one. He's he's the bad boy. He uses all the batteries, and that's why there's a there's a battery charger here. Two batteries. I think are these called AA? I think it's AA batteries. Uh, yeah, AA. So. Every 14 days I have to change the batteries in this guy, so that's a bit stupid, um, I haven't really done anything about it, I really should contact the German company and ask, ask them to replace it, but, but yeah. My German is not that good, neither is my English, but uh, my English is considerably better than my German, so uh, that's it. Um, hope you found this interesting and subscribe and you will see me again. Bye bye.